the Gazelle is the best platform for students to voice their opinions in a constructive way. But not just to voice them, also to work on them and make sure that they come out with a structure that you can engage with and be engaged with. I think a lot of people don't know about kind of the stuff that happens in the background with the Gazelle. Apart from actually publishing information, I think a lot of students see us as leaders on campus and we're aware of a lot of information and how students feel. I think we're in touch with a part of the student population that maybe often isn't covered by other student groups. And so I think that's why the administration comes to us uh, quite often to kind of get our input. It's not just a student publication. It's just, it just happens to be led by the students of NYU Abu Dhabi. Otherwise, it's just an in, in independent publication. We publish weekly every Sunday about a range of issues on campus and off campus in different parts of the world. I think it's like the sense of community that you really feel like when you step into the Gazelle production room on a Saturday, like there's something that feels very familiar, like um, the sounds and the smells and looking to your left and your right and seeing everyone from your desk. At 4 p.m., every 4 p.m. on a Saturday, you can find us in A4006, it's open to the public and we have our pitch meeting. Articles come in as drafts first, usually, sometimes it's ideas. Uh, a writer might have an idea or a draft and give it to an editor. And then you start to work on it, uh, having spoken to the desk editor, because we allocate you a desk editor if you choose to write. On Tuesday or Wednesday, we like to see a draft or an outline of that article. The editor will then comment, make suggestions, make edits, like suggest edits. We go through and check on the progress of the articles and see like who have we gotten drafts from, which articles are definitely coming through for Saturday or not. By Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, a decent draft is in. Uh, has been written and is ready for us at the Gazelle. On Saturday, after the pitch for the following week, we have production, and production is basically where we go through and do the final edits on each article. Each article goes through five rounds of editing before we web it. We spend every Saturday from 4 to around 12 a.m. at A4006 working on production. And then at the very end, we publish it on the website usually in the early morning hours of Sunday or late night of Saturday. Honestly, like the best part is having your friends like read it on Sunday and like sharing the articles and you get like compliments and stuff, <laughs> which is nice. That's good to hear. I hope that more people at NYU Abu Dhabi continue to read The Gazelle. We're really happy about how more people have started to read it now and we hope that it continues in that direction and that more and more people on this campus engage. It the gazelle as, as both a reader and a writer. I think there are so many great stories to tell and I think that uh, as young curious students we both have an interest in telling them and we also have uh, a unique position uh, to tell them. I think looking at it that way the gazelle should be something that we all have a vested interest in um, improving and in sustaining. I started the gazelle because I love to write and I started it that way, but really the gazelles helped me grow so much as an individual at NYU AD. Apart from just learning how to write better, you also learn how to be a better editor, but also a better leader. Um, I think I came in freshman year being so shy, and now um, I feel like I'm a lot more confident, came into myself, and it's just because I'm pursuing something I'm very passionate about. But it's also a sense of community. Um, I think we're a big family. I interact with people I don't think I would have ever met or interacted with otherwise. It's open, anybody can write for the Gazelle, any student, um, we welcome. You don't have to be a full-time member of our staff and I really, it's really a great opportunity to get involved with something great and just publish some of your work.